So during this pandemic, I lost 90% of my work. So I decided to invest my spare time into learning coding and robotics and go outside my engineering field. Because I was a beginner, I started with some beginner robots like the McQueen robot. It uses the BBC Microbit programming board and I learned how to program this little robot. I subsequently then moved on and built this Raspberry Pi robot. It has an obstacle avoidance and it's a pretty cool robot. But then I subsequently end up building this much more complex robot. This robot has a lot of things going for it. In fact, it has a lot more things going for it than me. For example, it has these um, rugged rubber wheels which helps it tackle all types of outdoor terrain like grass, sand and roads. I'll show you a video of that in a minute. It also has a distance sensor at the front which allows it to help avoid obstacles. Again, I'll show you that in a minute. It has a speaker for communication. It has a camera at the front which can pan 180 degrees sideways or even tilt up and down about 180 degrees. And it has various functions that I've installed into the onboard computer. So for example, this robot can be controlled from my phone. And if I just drive the robot, you'll see I can just control it from my phone. It turns around and it's pretty cool. The lights at the front lets me know what's happening with the robot when I put into different modes. It has an obstacle avoidance mode using the distances at the front. So if I put it into obstacle avoidance and I'll try to drive into this obstacle, you'll see that will basically just stop. And you can see no matter how much I press the button, it cuts off the power and my robot basically just stops. If I back off and try to go at a different angle onto my obstacle, it still works fairly well. And that's just using the distance at the front. One of the coolest features that it has is text-to-speech communication which means I can press the talk button on my phone and I can type something onto my phone, send it to my robot and my robot will be able to read this out to the person in front of me. So I'm just going to type this. Hello, how are you? So you can see I just basically just typed some text in my phone and I sent it to my robot and my robot, my robot was able to read it out. I could also, instead of typing, just speak into my phone Hello, me Vigorous Robot. Okay, I'm just going to do this and I'm going to send it to my robot. Hello, me Vigorous Robot. Okay, you can see it just send that red out, hello, me Vigorous Robot. And one of the other coolest features it has is basically using this camera at the front, it can do object detection. So this camera, I'm just going to show you that I can tilt it using my phone. You can see it just pans across and I can move it down and you can see the camera tilt down. What we're going to do now is we're going to put it into the face detection mode. Okay, so once I put it into face detection mode, this robot has an algorithm that helps detect human faces and it only takes one good quality image of that person and you will then be able to recognize that person even in real life. So I programmed it to recognize some of my idols. So we're going to hold up a picture of my idols and you'll see the robot is able to recognize these people using the images. You can move the robot a little bit back, okay? So we will start with my childhood crush, my jewellery Dixit. If you've seen Bollywood movies, you've never seen it, there's only one storyline, Guy Saves Girl. And I always wanted to be that guy that rescues my jewellery Dixit. But now, I can finally send him my robot. So let's activate face detection. Face detection mode launched. So the face detection mode has been launched. So if I hold this picture to my robot, my robot will just recognise this person. Match found and that is McFree Dixit. So you can see the robot just read out match found, match, match is Majuri Dixit. Can't really pronounce the word Asian names very well. So moving on, next we have my teenage inspiration. Uh, I'm sure you all recognise who this is, so you know it's only fair my robot knows who this is. So let's hold up this person to my robot and see what he makes of it. That is Tupac. Tupac, Fitcher and his robot would have made a great team. So obviously, the robots managed to recognise that person and I do think Tupac and Fitcher and his robot would have made a great team. So moving on, next we have this legend over here. Now I'm sure all Liverpool fans will recognise who this person is. Okay? So let's just see whether my robot recognised this person over here. I have a feeling my robot has something very special for this person. Here we go. 
Fitting Robo. Yes! So, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? That was for Steven Gerrard. I think he deserves something special for all those years he dedicated to Liverpool. Now, moving on, next person we have is basically my. They say you only have one true love in life. Well, if I had a love, this was probably it. Fernando Torres. Do you know, when he went for Liverpool, he did break my heart. But, anyways, he did because of some good times. So, let's just see if my robot can recognize Fernando Torres. Robot. There you go. Wait for this one. So that was Fernando Torres. Now moving on. What happens if my robot sees a person that it doesn't recognize? So currently it will just say, you'll see, you just hold it up. I cannot recognize that face. So when the robot sees someone he doesn't recognize, he just says, I cannot recognize that face. What I plan to do in the future is get it, the person to read out their name, and then the robot will steal that person's image. And the next time the robot sees that person, we will be able to recognize that person. Kind of like a human does in real life. So moving on, I have one last secret image. Uh, this one is for one of my friends, and he's in love with this song. He just can't seem to get over it. So I decided, Next time my robot meets my friend, he, my robot will be able to play his favourite song. So this one is for you. I'm sure who that person knows, that person knows who it is. This is for you, Hinesh. show you a closer view of the robot and show you an outdoor video of this robot in action okay thank you so here is a closer view of the robot so at the front over here we have the LED lights which flash when I put the robot into different modes and at the front here we have the pan and tilt camera which can basically be lifted to like so and it has its own power supply for the driving mechanism for the camera and over here at the front, what I've done is I've made a pin connection diagram. So I know which of these pins go into the Raspberry Pi board. Because if these wires come out, or I need to take the Raspberry Pi out, then I can quite easily connect it back in. This here is the server driver board for the um, mounted camera. And so as you can see, the Raspberry Pi is at the back over here. Here I have the speaker. Underneath the speaker, I mounted the LiPo battery, which basically powers the robot for when it's moving. And I also have another USB power supply, which uh, powers the Raspberry Pi separately. And just underneath here, I planted the, just inside, I don't know if I can show this, but just inside here, we have the motor controllers mounted inside the robot, so out of view. And I also have the um, LiPo battery monitor mounted on the back of the robot, so when the battery runs low, it will let me know. So that's basically a full view of my robot. And here is the app that I'm using to control this robot. This is the Bluetooth serial app, and I've set up these buttons which have all the different functions for the robot. Walkie. 
Thanks for helping to record my robot.